Well, Charlemagne has proven to be untouchable. Uh, Star has revealed a lot of things before Charlemagne's questionable past. Well, he was just in the R. Kelly documentary, and I'm beginning to wonder why, too. Like, why is he in the R. Kelly documentary? He didn't have a personal relationship with R. Kelly. Is he just out for hire to talk on subjects? Well, the producer regrets even putting him in the documentary. Now, this is Jordan Tell with JT News. Hit that bell at the subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up bell. Okay, button. <laughs> Charlemagne, okay? Charlemagne was in the, the Zar Kelly documentary that's going around, and he was, uh, you know, critical, uh, as everyone is, okay? Every, R. Kelly is officially canceled this week, okay? Um, well... The producer reacts, okay? She said, I'm just seeing Charlemagne's 2010 uh, tweet tonight. I interviewed him before the story about him broke, but should have cut him out altogether rather than limit his appearance. It was a huge mistake. Probably spent more time arguing to cut Bruce. Again, mistake, surviving R. Kelly. He asked because he's been so clear and vocal with his criticism and condemnation, condem condemnation of R. Kelly. He was interviewed before the story about him broke. I tweeted an apology a few minutes ago explaining I did see the old tweets until he was tagging them tonight. Uh, because he's, Charlemagne, you can say it's comedy. He's not a comedian. He's not, okay? So I, you can't use that as an excuse. He said, R. Kelly is thinking Barack's daughters can get it in 2009. That, that was one of his tweets. Another tweet. Furthermore, R. Kelly had the best celebrity sex day of all time. Was the most sick one. Wow. Then he said, furthermore, R. Kelly had the brother. And then he said, you can't defend a so serial pedo. Oh, no, that, that's uh, Styles P. The other uh, Charlemagne tweet was, uh, here it is. He talks about the, the fountain of youth is in Charlemagne's vagina. I mean, um, uh, R in, in teenage vagina. Very inappropriate tweets. Oh, yeah, they're at the tweet. I'm sorry. I, I, it says, R. Kelly looks 20-something. The Fountain of Youth clearly can be founded with teenage vagina. That's disgusting. Then he says, uh, someone, this woman said, and I'm clearly seeing these other two for the first time now. Sorry. But they didn't vet their people enough, I guess. Uh, Charlemagne is under fire today for this, as he should be, because can't be so hypocritical and i know he's gonna go this is this is gonna be his excuse well you know we all grow bro you were 30 something years old i am who i am right now i'm 35 years old right this is pretty much who i'm gonna be yes i'll get a little wiser uh as you get closer to death uh as morbid as that sounds you know you appreciate certain things more I appreciate so many things more in my mid-30s than I did in my mid-20s, I'll tell you that much. In mid-20s, you feel like you're invincible. Mid-30s, you're like, geez, you know, this is life, people go, you've experienced a lot of death. You don't start all of a sudden, you were cool with R. Kelly's misconduct. I was never cool with that at all, okay? So it's like, come on. It's Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit the subscribe button. It all goes down to character, guys. Charlemagne has been who he is since 2002 on the Wendy Williams show. Yes, he got a little less crazy. And the reason why he's so PC today is because he's famous, super famous. It's Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that thumbs up button. Check you guys later.